Hello students, uh, I hope you all are fine. So let's start with the test for starch. Before we start our experiment to test the presence of starch in food, let us first understand the what is starch. So what is starch? Starch is a complex carbohydrate present in our food. We eat starch is odorless that is don't have any smell tasteless white in color that it is colorless what are the major sources of starch the major sources of starch are rice corn wheat potatoes let us start our experiment to test the presence of starch in our food Take a small quantity of rice in a petri dish, add some water and make it into a paste. <clears throat> Transfer this paste into a test tube very keenly. Add few drops of iodine solution with the help of a dropper. Let us wait for the change. What do we observe? The sample turns blue black in color that means which confirms the presence of starch in the rice. Whenever the starch reacts with the iodine solution it turns in blue black color. Okay so it proves the presence of starch. So now let's go for test for proteins. Before we start our experiment to test food for proteins let us first know what is protein okay so what is protein proteins are the large molecules consisting of amino acids which are bodies and the cells in the bodies need to function properly body structures functions the regulations of the body cells tissues and organs cannot exist without proteins the muscles, the skin, the bone and many other parts in the human body contain significant amount of protein. In fact, proteins account for 20% of the total body weight. So what are the major sources of proteins? Let us know now. So major sources of proteins are, we have two types of sources vegetable sources that is plant source and animal source so first vegetable sources soya beans cereals beans groundnuts etc comes to the part of animal sources we have eggs fish meat milk etc let us start our experiment to test the presence of protein in our food Take a small quantity of mashed beans in a petri dish. Put it in a test tube and add some water. Add a few drops of copper sulfate solution to it with the help of a dropper. Here the copper sulfate solution will be of 2% that is 2 gram of copper sulfate will mix in 100 ml of water and will make the solution. Then we are going to add few drops of sodium hydroxide that is 10% sodium hydroxide which we are going to add 10 uh, grams of sodium hydroxide in a 100 ml of water. So here the solution turns into purple color which proves that the food sample contains protein. Whenever protein reacts with the copper sulfate and sodium hydroxide solution it turns purple so we must remember that it is protein food so let us go with the test for fat before we start our experiment to test food for fat let us first understand what is fat okay so what is fat fat is a nutrient essential for normal functioning of the body and living is not possible without it right not only does fat supply us with energy it also make it possible for other nutrients to do their jobs then what are the major sources of fat 
major sources of fats are obtained from plants and animals both so plants example are mustard oil coconut oil uh, dry fruits groundnut oil etc coming to the part of animal sources we have butter ghee cheese milk etc so let us start an experiment to test the presence of fat in our body take a small quantity of dry fruits that is you can take cashew or you can take almonds in a petri dish rub it on a clean white paper and let it dry uh in presence of sunlight or in in front of your bulb okay you may even take only oil and apply on the paper and just you can dry in the light and you can see the same patch okay the fat present in the food sample is what makes the paper oily